at the orphanage. That's where I learned how to skate. And we played, you know, played the public school hockey. And uh, I just, most of my winter time was spent on the ice. If you're thinking about it, fast forward now, Jim comes out of the orphanage and he's in Madison Square Garden when he's 1920. <laughs> that doesn't happen nowadays, right? So that's just kind of tells you that, you know, that that doesn't happen at all anymore. Well, it's interesting going through the process itself and finding out more my aunt wrote a letter about being in the orphanage with dad and he looked after them. So finding out more beyond what we knew as kids and have learned as we've gotten older has made the process very rewarding. I was quite ta taken by, you know, surprised. And then I'm going, well, hmm. <laughs> well, I guess I just quit like thinking about it. Well, usually the criteria, Ooh, 500 goals for forwards, and all-star, you know, nominations and all those things that these guys are in the Hall of Fame for. But I, uh, I couldn't say no to Dana. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking boxing lessons. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I was blessed with some ability, and I was always on the ice, so you had, and we played a lot of shinny, so, you know, you learn how to stick handle, hand in the puck, you were turning, skating, we weren't, we had nothing like hockey schools or anything like that, and just, you just learned on your way up, whatever you picked up, you took with you. There was a nun there, Sister Ignatius, that used to feed me sandwiches because I went to high school, and she, she knew I was, you know, I played a lot of hockey and walked to school, and so she helped a little bit. And she was a staunch hockey fan, a Red Wing fan. It, she had, there was encouragement and this and that, so. Maybe that's what helped me. It's just that I never had maybe too much pressure on myself. I just, there I was on this journey, I guess. <laughs> ¶¶